In this video, I'm going to share with you how you could customize your donut charts into something livelier and stunning to your audience. If you want to learn how to do this, just stick around and watch until the very end of this video. Whenever we are working on this kind of data set and you need to create a relationship of parts to a whole, our first option is to create a pie chart. To do this, we just have to highlight the range, then we'll go to the Insert Ribbon tab, select the pie chart. This is the classic example of a pie chart and looking at this, it gives us an idea of a completed project status which is around 58% out of 100. This chart provides us the information that we need. If you are into creating dashboards and reports and you wish to level up or customize your charts, this kind of chart may not appropriate for you anymore. In this case, we can use pie charts distant relative, which is a donut chart. You can do this by selecting Donut Chart under Pie Group. From here, we will try to customize it and enhance our Donut Chart. Our first target is to change the background fill color of the chart area. You can do this by simply right-clicking the chart area, then select Format Chart Area. For this exercise, our target uh, color theme would be green, so I will change the background color to something like light green. Then we will change the border color to a gradient line. We only need three stops here, so we will delete this one. Let's click our first stop and change the format to white. Position will be at 0%. Then we will move to the second one and change it to green. The position will be at 50%. My third step will be colored dark green, while its position will be at 100%. If we change the width of the border, you may notice its effect. Here's a quick summary of what we have done. Our second target will be our main data point, which is the completed status. Double click the blue color, which indicates our completed status. Then right click, format data point. Let's change the donut hole size into 85%. Click fill in line and change the file format to gradient. Again, we need three gradient stops in here. Let's change our first stop to green and position it to 20%. Our second stop would be plain white. Position it to 50%. Then our last stop will be green again, while the position is at 80%. We will use the same format to our border. First stop is set to green and position will be at 
Second stop will be white while position is at 50%. Third stop will be green again and position is at 80%. We'll make some adjustments with the width to 20 points. And finally, we'll add some shadow on it. We'll select offset to center. Here's a quick summary of what we did for this data point. Our next target now will be the incomplete status. Let's double click this, right click, then select format data point. Let's change first the fill color to solid fill and select color to black. Text 1, lighter 35%. Let's change the border color to solid line. Then the color will be the same as the chart area, which is light green. Here's a quick summary of what we did for our data point incomplete. We can remove the legend now as the chart now is self-explanatory. Our next target will be the text value of our chart or percentage of completed status. Let's insert a text box here. Go to formula bar and type equals, then select our target cell, which is cell C2. Let's adjust the font and font size. Sometimes you need to adjust the shape, fill, and outline. So make sure that for both, you have selected no fill. Here's a quick summary of what we did for the text. Finally, our last customization will be our title. You can move it on the side or center as you wish. I will put this on the side and change the font to Century Gothic and resize it. Then go to Format and Add Text Effects. Let's add some shadows here first. Then add Glow as White. Let's also change the shape color to a little darker green. Now this is our finished product. You may also see in the next worksheet some colors or themes that you can choose from in customizing your donut chart. Feel free to download the practice file. The link is provided to you in the description box below.
do not forget to like, comment, and share this tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, feel free to do that so that you will have access to my future tutorials. Thank you and see you next time.